So we come on to the turns, the sandwich turns and the Cabot's turns. It used to be called the American sandwich turn, but uh, Cabot's turn is better and uh, now viewed by many as a full species. Uh, late summer and you see a European sandwich turn along with his baby. It's a good starting point to learn the plumages of the local European sandwich turn. Uh, a bit like roseate turns, they're covered in these um, these dark subterminal marks that look really scaly above and they've got this intricate pattern tertials and the same theme runs through the wing covers to varying degrees. Uh, here's a kind of crazy looking youngster, uh, still with a bit of a yellow bill. Uh, this is definitely a European sandwich turn, I don't even know, need to know where it's photographed. Look at the intricate pattern in the tertials, these subterminal V or U-shaped marks in the coverts and uh, all the way through the scapulars and so on. Uh, and here's a, a less well marked one but still a European sandwich turn. All the V-shaped marks, tertials, some of them have been replaced here or have just of a duller pattern, I'm not really sure. It's quite a young bird, it's not finished growing uh, its primaries yet. And then in flight, when they're flying around, uh, easiest way to age young terns when they do start to molt is the last bits that go are the tail feathers. They usually have some dark on the corners of the tail feathers. You can also see the juvenile pattern of um, little uh, V and U shapes in the wing coverts here. And again, this one, a uh, lovely shot, be a little bit trickier. You'd need to see it on the ground and get a feel for it. But uh, these, these little patterns here will be intricate uh, internal marks, typical of a European sandwich term. This one taken by Pim Wolf in the Netherlands. And there's an uh, adult European sandwich term. And uh, here's some of the key features. They tend to have more uh, white peppering or flecking in the crown. And uh, this one's molting, so it's, there's his old primaries. Now here's a really key thing. Here's the old primaries, and you can see a hook shape at the end. The reason there's a hook shape there, fantastic feature, kind of noted first by Greg Nice of Chicago, uh, is that the reason they're hook shaped is that before, when they were fresh, they had a big wide white bit there that's worn off and just left the black. See on the new feather? See the little hook shape there and the whites worn off. Well, this is a European sandwich turn. Cabots would never have that. So even in flight, on a flight shot, you can see, look, there's a little hook shape there with the broad white fringe. Of course, all the information's in the chapter in the book. This is just a, a quick kind of uh, spur you on video tutorial. Again, here's an adult European sandwich turn. Oh, look, big white broad fringe and little hook shape at the tip. Um, there, taken in October in the Netherlands. Another adult European sandwich turn. Little hook tips, big broad white fringes, and some of them, particularly in the winter, replace their tertials and have these little blob-shaped marks here. Our first winter European sandwich turn. Remember the juveniles from earlier with all that intricate scaly patterning? Uh, well, they're, they're juvenile feathers a little bit warm now they're not they're not like the um, the fresh adult feathers and there you can see I would call that intricate and uh, sort of you can see the little U shape there this is going to be typical of a European bird young birds also tend to lack the obvious yellow tip of adults uh, and the head pattern is better for a European sandwich with lots of white uh, peppering through it another first winter European bird not much information to go on but an old tertial or two with the right kind of pattern and a head pattern better for a European bird. Again another first winter European bird more strongly marked it's retained more of its uh, dark patterning in the coverts and scapulars and the tertials and if it lost all of those it's likely to still have some dark marks in the tail that will at least age it. Now there's the juvenile cabot's turn. See how different it is. It doesn't have the internal marks uh, that are U or V shaped, they're sort of much smoother with a, with a more of a kind of central dark, uh, oh, beautiful artwork over these things. Again, quite a, a youngster, the primaries aren't grown and a bit of a yellowish bill, but very, 
Mr. Smooth for the American Cabot's turn. Another young Cabot's turn. You see how different the pattern is. In this one, all the Cabot's uh, are plain. No yellow at the tip of the bill. Uh, again, another very plain, uh, pretty full juvenile Cabot's turn. No markings in here. Any markings here are very faint. And the tertials have just got uniformly dark sort of splodges on. These are in early July. Uh, and they're just beautiful photographs uh, by Joseph Kennedy. And I'm really appreciative of him. Some of them have, uh, the Cabot's can have really plain yellow or even orangey bills. Make people think they find a royal turn, but they're not. They're a, uh, they're a juvenile Cabot's turn in North America. And again, see how plain this juvenile is compared to our very scaly looking young. Here's a juvenile Cabot's in flight. And again, you don't have the little intricate U-shaped jaggedy looking marks that you've got in the sandwich it's very plain uh, in the dark plumage here's the first winter cabots lovely smooth marking smooth marking on the tertials and look as it's into first winter how solidly black this area is it's not peppered with white again see the chapter to get all the details clear and here's a, a julian huff special an adult cabots turn they tend to have more yellow at the bill tip very often uh, than our birds do. And here's an adult cabots in the summer. What a, that's a thick bill for a sandwich turn. You want to see what I mean? Have a look at this one. This is a European sandwich turn that turned up as a vagrant in Chicago. Thin needle-like bill and look there are those little hook tips. I think diagnostic of European sandwich turn. And here's a Juan Segaria shot in uh, the Canaries of a midwinter sandwich turn again new there's the old feathers and there's the new feathers and you can see there's that same internal pattern it's just that the white has worn off there hope you find that helpful uh please let's find that next american sandwich turn